1998, you're playing for York City in Div 2, and then you make the massive move to Manchester United. Oh, Your, good story. Uh, the, the team you supported as a boy, well, you still were a boy at that yeah. stage. Um, talk us through how that move came about. Well, uh, they'd been watching me for a few months. The, the uh, youth team manager at the time, Derek, uh, Derek Bell, told me that the uh, United scouts had watched me in a reserve game. I'd scored four goals. We'd won 4-0. Oh. I used to be a striker back in the day. He told me that <laughs> earlier. How are you striking in a red pace? I know. <laughs> Well, Player, I could finish, but yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> until until I got, got a little bit older and I couldn't score. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and um, I played a first team game against Fulham actually, and um, I had an absolute terrible game. And Alan Little came, pulled me in after the game, thought I was going to get a rollicking, and he said, uh, "Alex Ferguson's been on the phone. He wants to go on trial next week. Um, are you interested?" I thought he was having a laugh, right. like, and um, anyway, ended up to, to be true. Went for a four-day trial, training with like Giggsy, Bex, people at oh. art school, Z. It was. And how, old it was you, how old was you? How old was you? Just before I turned 19. What and was then, that like? Uh, you being a United fan, that's like you've skipped almost <laughs> everything, gone right to the top there, and then almost going on the tra same training pitch as Skullsy's Keen of the World. That what is was a that bad like? Picture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's the best one we can find, mate, if I'm honest. <laughs> is that you? Yeah, it's terrible. Um, it was surreal what? because, um, you know, obviously, you know, you watch Ireland players on TV, um, you know, week in, week out, and to be to training with them is crazy. And I just remember uh, thinking, you know, a four day trial, just go and enjoy it. and you know, a few weeks later, they, they paid half a mil for me, so it was a dream come true, really. So, was that a trial basis you went? And yeah, then... so they'd been watching me for about a year, playing for the, the reserves and playing a few games for the first team, and then they asked me to go on trial for four days. And after the four days, Alex Ferguson was pleased and ended what? up signing me a couple of weeks later. The step up, at right? How did you find it training with them? Oh. What, what was you like in, in at first? Manchester? To be honest, uh, Jimmy, you know what it's like, you know. Um, at first, I thought there's no chance I'm going to be able to make it either because everything was so much quicker, you know, when the players, you know, the first touch, you know, and I, I thought, you know, I'm going to be struggling here. But the more you get used to it, the more you, you, yeah. you settle into your environment, you know, it got easier and easier. And then, um, you know, I felt like, I, you know, I, I, could, I could do really well there. And, yeah, yeah. you know, and then three years later, I realised I probably worked, wasn't good enough. <laughs> I had to move on. Then, <laughs> you, um, did you get close to anyone? Who was your room, is it? Oh, did yeah. You look about I mean, when all, you the, all the lads were, like, top, top lads, you know, um, the world, world stars. Yeah. You know what I mean. But like, honestly, so down to earth. Every single one of them. My first, one of my first roommates was Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the manager of United now, and wow. you know he was an absolute, you know, top, top guy. Yeah. Um, but you know, like, there was young lads like Wes the Brown. Baby face assassin. Yeah. Have a look at I that. I actually made my debut um, for for United in in a little Woods Cup, was it called then? Yeah. Yes. Um, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I played it front, set a goal up, and got a man at match on my debut. So it was, oh, it was yeah, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Your, your, your first full season was the, the treble winning season yeah. um, in 1999, and that incredible night at the New Camp. Um, what was it like being involved in that? Scary. Yeah. I always remember um, it was out of me and, and another lad, John Curtis. You remember John Curtis? Yeah. To be to be on the bench, and um, I think um, we were both obviously thinking it's going to be one of us, and both both a bit nervous. And you know, when we got to the new camp, my, my shirt was out there. I knew I was on the bench. I was absolutely buzzing. <laughs> but then when I was on the bench on the actual game, and it was going through, I was like on, absolutely. Was Was there a point where Was there a point where you thought you might get on? Yeah. Well, I think. Um, it was either 1-0 or 1-all one, one at the time. I think Nicky Buck got a little injury or something like that, and I thought, oh, no, please don't put me on. <laughs> I'm going to lose a down. Champions League for, for United. <laughs> it's going to go messy. Yeah. But um, thank um, God, uh, I think Teddy scored the winning, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then you made the decision, to, uh, we think you were 22, when you, you had to knock on Sir Alex's door and say... I want to leave Manchester United. Yeah, uh, okay, so, so uh, where did you find the courage to do that? It was the worst day of my life. Yeah. I think uh, that's, <laughs> I, I spoke to mum and dad about it. You know, I needed to start playing games. I'd only made 34 appearances, you know, over three years. Yeah. I think they just signed Van, Van Nistelrooy, Veron, players like oh, that. Yeah, so yeah. I was thinking, you know, there's no way I'm going to play. And uh, I think I went to knock on the gaff at the boss's door about three times. I went to knock, walked away. <laughs> Ten minutes yeah. later, walked yeah. on, knocked away. And then eventually <laughs> I, I knocked on. He said, sit down, son. And I said, you know, I'm thinking about leaving. I need to start playing. He said, I want, I want you to sign a new four-year contract. Oh, I walked out. I was thinking, I've asked to leave and I've got a new really? contract. <laughs> but, um, he really wanted me to stay. So but, you must have still fancied you then. Yeah, as a I, think he, I think he liked me, but um, I knew deep down I probably wasn't you good enough to be yeah, at United yeah. and play regularly. I needed to just go and start playing games. You know, when you get to 22, you yeah, just want to play yeah. football. And um, I went back in, you know, a couple of days later, and um, he was sound, and eventually went followed Steve McLaren to Middlesbrough.